Hi! Welcome back to my channel, Idealistic Escapism. I'm Madly, and today we are going to be doing something a bit different. I used to have a Google Plus page when I was in middle school, and it was called Love, Optimism, and More. So I'm going to take the time to explore my previous social media with you back in my embarrassing days. So yeah, let's go! Okay, so this over here was my page, Google Plus page. I just... It still has 15 followers apparently, so I don't think that any of those pages are active anymore, and one of them is definitely my non-active personal Google Plus page, and I'm just... Anyways, let's see the good in this. So, I started this mostly because I want this is just embarrassing. I I wanted to be known and on the first day I was being stupid. I wanted the it the page to be separate from my personal life and I reposted like several of the things that I was posting on here onto my personal media so if any friend actually went to like see the fact that the page started on the day that I was reposting things, they would know that the two of these things were me. And I just... <laughs> it was stupid. Anyways, the page had some like good intentions. I was doing it to spread love, optimism, and more because I was a really positive person. I still am, I just... I, yeah. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm just don't know why I did this in this way. Anyways, most of the things on here are made from Microsoft Paint if I made them because that's all I really knew how to use at the time. I would spend the time and think of quotes, type them out, and put them on paint. So giving you a fair warning and there's probably a lot of free posts on here as well because I used to follow a lot of like quotey positive pages so that I could repost them. So yeah, here we go. Love, optimism, and more. I, as you can see, things were posted in like 2013. It's been a long time since I've used Google+. Plus. I moved on since then. If you, I, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Have fun with this, I guess. Like, I, I made the profile picture in paint. And I was kind of proud of it. Like, proud enough of it that I remembered before I was about to start filming this video that in 8th grade I was in geometry and we had to make a tessellation. I was proud enough of it that if you can see, um, like here, it's upside down. And so like here, that the, um profile image I sort of put on here so it's like love optimism being happiness and um more being the plus sign <laughs> and I guess I think this was like a sun and a tree because I, I was trying to like do things that I like into my tessellation <laughs> oh my god eighth grade seventh grade me I mean okay I'll just continue on here. I don't know why I still have 15 followers. I, I stopped using this page in like March of 2013. So I think at the end here I was just reposting a lot of stuff. Oh oh here we go here's my first paint made thing. And spring has finally arrived which you can barely read because of the fact that it's like this bright pink on this bright green. Oh, and look, I used to put my, um, I guess, watermark on the corner so that no one would steal it because apparently someone would want to steal this. This, okay. I'm trying not to be like self-demeaning to myself because this was past me and what's bothering me the most is I know I could do so much better now even if I'm doing similar things by just starting a YouTube channel, I have a Twitter that I'm like, have that are personally not attached to me. 
I just, <laughs> I could do so much better at photo editing than this. Oh, this used to, okay. This one also has a watermark. I, <laughs> I edited my bedspread. Like, this is a picture of my bedspread, and then I, I guess I put a purple filter on it somehow, or I don't know. And then I put, refresh your life by looking at it from a different perspective. The thought is there, but you can barely read this unless you're looking up close. I probably should have either put, like, a graphic container around it, or made it a different color so it was easier to read, but 8th grade me didn't know that. I would just put something together and post it on here. No regrets. I mean, I regret it now, but at the time I didn't regret it. And of course, I feel like a page like this would be really important right now because of all that's happening in the world. Like, especially in my country, America, right now, it's kind of total chaos right now, and I'm... I don't really know what to say about that, so that's why I decided to choose this to do right now, because... Love Optimism and More, even though it was just a little tiny Google Plus page that I made that has 15 followers um, that aren't even active anymore, I highly doubt. Um, I just... Yeah, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh, happiness is the key to success. I like where I was going with the white and blue. Maybe it was supposed to be Snowflake or something. Let's see what when that was posted. March 4th? That could have been a time when it was snowing. Be imaginative. Actually, I like this one because I love the font. It looks very quirky and stuff. And yet again, the watermark in the corner. I was trying to brand myself even then and now I have a different branding. <laughs> oh, that helps. Nice. <laughs> this is literally just circle, circle, two different colors. Make new breads, but keep the old ones over and the other girl. A circle around, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. I'm so sorry that I just sang that. And that this font is terribly cheesy. I don't even know the name of the song, I just said Girl Scout song. <laughs> I tried. Oh, and the watermark. Like, some of these are really cute, like, just when the caterpillar thought its life was over, to, it became a butterfly, like, that's really good! And they put, like, an actual nice photo behind it instead of just putting colored background and two circles. Where would we be without love? Some of these might get a little bit angsty, almost sounding, like, low-key. Because I had a- I was friend-zoned by someone around this time. Someone who was my best friend. And I had a crush on for, like, ever. So some of these, it was, like, my way of coping with that in an environment that wasn't personal to me like this. So like, sometimes there are times in life when, where you just need to wait. I was probably waiting to stop being friend zone because I was a little naive. <laughs> Be optimistic, yay! Happiness is necessary in life. That's true. I would have chosen a different font that was a little bit easier to read, maybe, at this point in time. You are awesome, I promise. That sounds so middle school-like because the word awesome. Oh wait, did I- I even tried to bold the awesome. I'm- I like that font. I, I like this one. If I can get out of it though, because my internet kind of sucks. Which I always say, I'm sorry. Take the time to see the joy of every day. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait. This is dark, or at least the, like, font and stuff. You'd think that somebody would understand, but nobody seems to at the second. 
don't worry, one day somebody will understand. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. This is definitely the around the time that I was being friend-zoned so badly. <laughs> Who knew that love could be so complicated? See, I warned you. I warned you that this was coming. I knew it was. Because I knew that that was one of the reasons that I had this. It's not only to, it was just kind of like a way to vent without actually saying names or anything. It was just kind of how I was feeling. Make a stormy day into a sunny day with optimism. I think I know what I did here. I think that this is one of like those think thought bubbles and then I erased I think you can see here, like I erased the um, like little things that came out of it so it looked like a cloud and then I would just do half and half. Be yourself, yes, be yourself. Because there's someone out there who can accept you. It doesn't matter who you are, someone out there loves you. And if you don't know them yet, then that's... Okay, just continue looking and you'll find someone out there who will accept you and love you for who you are. Laugh. I like the color scheme. It's not centered. The text isn't centered, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just continue. Those who bully need to get a life and stop ruining other people's lives. So the thing with this is not only was I friend zoned, but he got a girlfriend who hated me. Like, she did not like me because she saw me as a threat. I guess. I mean, I don't really know. I never really got inside her head. I didn't know her all that well. But she would purposely, like, kiss him and stuff when I was around or when I was looking just because she didn't like that I kind of was a threat and I was really angry about that and saddened by that and it annoyed me so much but at this point in time I kind of forgive her we were middle schoolers it's fine it happened but it was still kind of a jerk move so I think that's where I was going with all this bullying stuff is because I felt like I was being targeted because of the situation. Oh, this is cute! <gasps> Hamsters and puppies. I don't even care if it's photoshopped, it's cute. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Oh, this is my favorite quote. Um, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times and one only remembers eternal light. I forgot the word even. But it's still good. I really like this, actually. I had it as my desktop background um, on my computer in freshman year for a while because I was able to change it on my school laptop. Time heals all wounds. I really tried to make a clock. I put effort into this one. Go me. Especially with Microsoft Paint. I didn't watermark it. Sadness. This may have been one from a while ago that I may have reposted or something, because... Oh wait, no, it looks like I started watermarking about here, so maybe I didn't for a while. Life may take any turn, but no matter what happens, continue to shine. Laughter is the best medicine. Loving the curls MT, plus the changing the color of the text. But apparently not the border, because they all have, like, white on the border. Wow. I have, I used to, have, I mean, I still have amazing friends, so I think that lots of this is because I was inspired so much by my friends um, to be an optimistic, positive person because I had great friends around me and I still do. Sadness kills me when I can't help the sad person out. Why don't you try so helping someone out today? <laughs> me trying to influence the media, the, my followers. Live your life how you want to. I like this one because it's kind of quirky and then it has a- like, this one I like. It's probably one of the better things to come out of paint because I used a font that's really cool looking. 
have the watermark, which I guess was so important to me back then, I tried to make it look different. Like tiles, I guess. Like a mosaic. Rumors are stupid. All they do is hurt people. Don't spread rumors or you're just as bad as the person who started it. Angsty me. I mean, I agree with most of the things that are being said on here, but what I'm cringing at is the reason behind the fact that I said it and the fact that I was posting it on a public page on Google Plus in middle school. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, lo I love chocolate. Chocolate can fix almost any problem. <laughs> so true. But just so funny. Uh, I told <laughs> okay. It makes your heart flutter like a delicate butterfly showing beauty without meaning to. It makes your soul twinkle with a light so bright you don't know how to handle it. When you think it is faded, it comes floating back to you in a more wonderful form. Love. That's some deep stuff for like a 13 year old. I mean, this was also around the time that I started to write a bit more and want to become a writer. So I'm sure that that influences what I'm putting on this page as well, because I was starting to appreciate words even more, which is why I appreciate quotes so much. The funny moment when someone says something and you start laughing because it reminds you of an inside joke you have with your best friend. Yep. I think a big thing during this time was, okay, we were all on, all of my friends were on Google Plus at this time. Like this was the social media for the time in my friend group. And there used to be like all these teenager quote problem things that used to be posted. So those were like all the, that funny moment when, that awkward moment when, all of those things used to be really popular at this time. So I think that influenced that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, teenager posts, all of these things. I, I used to spend a lot of time looking at these because my friends would post them. I would go on the page and look at them for a long time. We would talk about them. Uh, I didn't have a Tumblr at this point. I didn't really know what Tumblr was at this point, but I could see that they were from Tumblr at the time. Uh, so this one, for example, says texting five people and telling four of them you're going to bed just so you can spend the rest of the night texting the one person that you like. True. Less relatable now, but more relatable at the time. Without optimism, there will never be a bright side of anything. Yes. My maturity level depends on who I'm at. Yeah. Okay. Either way, I like how I made wood like this. And you can tell right now that it's so paid because of all the pixels and stuff. So, like, I made a happiness is a door, and then optimism is the key to happiness. And it's cute. I think I'm starting to get near the end. Oh. Yes. This is my first one. I dare you to be amazing, so therefore... Just be yourself. There we go. This is the beginning. This is the first one that I made on paint. And I'm finally done scrolling through this cringe-worthy page. I'm sorry to have brought you on this journey with me, but I couldn't do it alone. And I thought that some of the things that I was saying back at the time were worth bringing up again because right now I think that a lot more people need positivity in their lives to help unify all the divides that have happened, especially in, in my country. I'm not sure who else watches this as of right now, but right now we need a unifying force and I think that love and positivity can be that. If we just accept each other even more then perhaps we can actually move forward and try to get past the challenges that we are facing right now in order to actually po like progress on instead of just falling backwards more and more and more because even though we have made somewhat of a mistake I would say then 
we still need to be able to move past it and move forward or else we really are not going to be able to be happy and unified again. That just got really, really fast. So anyways, thank you for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was just a waste of your time looking through my cringeworthy Google Plus page, but I wanted to do it anyways. And I love all of you very much. I hope to make another video next week and I look forward to seeing you in that video. Thank you so much. I already said that. But yeah. Bye!